Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Last Sunday in Waltham, there were a series of electrical power surges that caused fires in about a dozen transformers, leading to problems throughout the city. According to a Boston Globe article, firefighters were called to about 30 residences, people had electrical appliances destroyed, and about 3,000 people lost power, although most had it restored quickly. Eversource says that the surges were caused by an equipment failure at a substation on Pine Street. Mayor McCarthy addressed the incident in this week's Committee of the Whole meeting, but she wasn't able to provide any more detail about the cause, which is still under investigation by Eversource. Also this week, City Councilor George Darcy was charged with operating under the influence and leaving the scene of property damage in connection with an incident that happened Saturday night. According to a WCAC article, Councillor Darcy allegedly hit another vehicle and then left the scene. The other driver then followed and cornered him until police arrived. It's not clear what this means for Darcy's future on the council, but he did participate in this week's city council committee meetings after the news broke on Monday. This past weekend, Waltham Fields Community Farm hosted, by many estimates, their largest farm day to date. Hundreds of attendees arrived by the TikTok trolley, bike, car, or on foot to enjoy live music, local food, community organizations, family farm activities, and an invitation to explore and enjoy the farm grounds. In this week's Committee of the Whole meeting, Councillor Darcy's resolution looking to create an ad hoc committee of bike and pedestrian safety was met with hesitancy from other city councillors, and its future is now unclear. So we'll talk about that more on our debrief show. This week, there was a master plan input session for Ward 3, and we'll tell you about that on the debrief show. The Ward 4 meeting is going on while we're recording this, and the Ward 2 meeting is coming up next Tuesday, the 25th at 6 p.m. at MacArthur Elementary School. The Ward 1 meeting will then take place next Thursday, the 27th at 6 p.m. at Kennedy Middle School. If you live in Wards 1 or 2, make sure you go and let our city leaders know what you think our priorities should be. In other city meetings, Waltham City Council will be meeting as usual on Monday night, this coming Monday. Zoning Board of Appeals will be meeting Tuesday, the 25th at 7 p.m. at 119th School Street. The Licensing Commission is meeting on Wednesday, the 26th at 7 p.m. at City Hall. Next Thursday, the 27th, is the last day to register to vote or update your registration if you want to vote in the November 3rd election. And you should definitely do that because there are some important state positions and ballot questions on the ballot. In community events, this coming Sunday, the 23rd at 1 p.m. is the Western Greenway 5K that's sponsored by the Waltham Land Trust. Also coming up, Waltham Open Studios is going to be the first weekend in November, the 5th and the 6th. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.